Hello, and welcome back to my 17th day of learning Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. Um, if you were here yesterday, I talked about I was going to go through all of the piece and find for each section uh, a character aspect to focus on, not like a, a being, but um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a feeling to focus on. And in... Um, and that it would take a couple days, and then after that, I'm going to go through the whole piece for looking for technical aspects in each uh, spot to focus on. And I decided that it would make more sense to do it the other way around. So I'm going to um, go through a good bit of the piece right now. Uh, maybe I can make it all the way through. I, I don't know. Um, just figuring out the most the, the things that are most technically difficult for me or the things that are most important that I need to think about while I'm playing those measures um, or those phrases or whatever, uh, however large the sections are. So in the beginning, um, it's definitely like, mm -hmm. I already did um, uh, a little bit uh, yesterday, but in the beginning, uh, just relax it to just relax and not um mood wise even though it is relaxed mood wise as well but like muscle wise and in the measure after that i'm um focusing on being portato in the right hand even though i've got the pedal down just so i um get a little bit more it's so it's a little bit, it, it sounds a little bit lighter than if I... It just gives it a little bit more um, clarity, I think. And, alright, so measure three. Um, there's definitely a release right here, like... measures because it's um it's the least uh, i mean it's not it's not a relaxing chord to play you feel like someone you feel like something's coming after it when you're at least in, when you're in the c uh, when, when you're in the key of c sharp minor so it becomes C-sharp minor, so, um, low point, high point, and then relax in measure five. Um, in these next couple measures, I want to focus on voicing. distinctly or really the melody distinctly is what I'm looking for so that it sounds like I almost was playing this with my left hand but I don't have that luxury so is really the most important thing for both measures five and six. Um, and then starting in measure seven, the um, it's a relaxation right in the beginning of the measure.
direction. <laughs> Down, up, up. Okay. Now, um, and then right here in between um, measures um, nine and ten, I want just to subtle, not enough to like feel out of place, but just a subtle delay in between um, is what I think I'm looking for. So. singer or something and then um, singing and then the left hand right after that except the, um, the arpeggios. The arpeggio is like the, the piano or something. And then everything else is singers.
really struggle with that. Um, but, hmm, I don't know. I mean, maybe making sure that none of the, I, I, I'm, I've been good at bringing out the melody notes, um, in this section, but I've been a little bit sloppy with keeping the, uh, the arpeggiated notes, the non-melody notes, keeping them not in the way of the melody. So I'm gonna focus on that, I think, there. Um, <clears throat> and then right after that here. to be clear or like blurry or what I want here but um I do know that it's got an interesting line um it's building and then before it resolves it drops back down here and gets quiet again no there's no um expressive in that in those couple measures <laughs> show you my slight progress. So. Oh yeah, at this point I don't even need the first page so I'm not going to bother turning it. I'm just going to keep it at second and third page.
Yeah, um, I, I found some spots I need to work on, but, um, yeah, I'm about to do that, but, um, uh, I, I guess, uh, that's good night, um, for now, and don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!